What up YouTube, it's your boy Detroit Love with another video. Today we're going to do the final steps to complete this project and we'll take a look at the final product. Let's go. Okay, so we have two joysticks uh, detected. Remember, we made sure this was going to boot up this way. That way, we can check our uh, joint our buttons while we were configuring them. And so, it's still at this screen when we boot up because nothing's been configured yet. And now we can actually hold down the buttons so th and so that it can program. So we'll do that. All right. So we're going to do up, down, left, right start select a is the bottom middle b is the bottom left x is the top middle y is the top left left shoulder is the top right right shoulder is the bottom right and all these other ones we can ignore until we get to the hotkey So we're just pressing the holding the button until it skips to the next one. Release our finger and press again until it goes to the next one. Hot key is going to be our coin button or select. And you got to give this a couple seconds, let it catch up with itself, and then you can press the B button to exit to hit OK. Or the A button, I'm sorry. All right, so now we, we configured the player one. Now we need to configure player two. So we hit configure again. So we hit the A button. Yes. Wait. Yes. And now hold down gamepad number two. Up, down, left, right, start, select A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder. Press any button to skips. Hold and release. Hold and release. That's all we're doing. Until we get down to hot, hot key. Up three more so. Yep. Two, one, and hot key. Give it a couple of seconds. For it to register and save that, and then we can press the A button or middle lower to close. We hit the B button to back, go back, and now we are in our games. So now we just want to make sure that we can actually play a game. So we'll go down to uh, Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Doesn't matter which one. Let me just start that up. Now you see you have the bezels on here. All that stuff has to go. I have a, the next videos are going to show you how to get this thing to boot up and look like a real arcade. Uh, all right, so we don't, we don't have any sound because it's not turned on up here. All right, so we got our sound. Let's turn that down just a little bit. And let's put some coins in to two player. Taking coins with player two button. Taking coins with player one's button. And we're gonna hit player two, two players. So we got two players.
Oh, I didn't hit start on. I'm, I'm gonna do Hulk. And I had to hit start. Player wants start for him to pick his players. Let's get some Spidey in there. And whatever this thing is. Alright, don't matter what mode we're in. We're just testing the buttons. Alright. So we got up, jump forward, jump, jump back, down, lower kick, medium kick, hard kick. Boy, Hulk makes us baby jab look pretty strong. That's a strong and that's fierce. All right. So let's try Spidey out. Go on this side. We got jab. Well, Spidey's jab looks pretty wimpy, wimpy next to Hulk's jab. Strong and fierce. Short kick. Forward kick. Roundhouse. Alright, jump towards. Uh, let's try it again. Jump towards. Jump back. Nope. Jump back. Back, forward, up, down. Down, hook, up, hook, forward, back. Alright, controls are all valid. Now you can see a little bit of glow. I'll cover this up. See a little, little bit of glow at that screw. Now watch when I unscrew. You'll see that light disappear. Sort of like a little blue haze going around the screw. When I back up, you see it disappeared. Watch that screw as I screw it in again. Can you pick up on that? See how that screw, the light sort of makes a circle around it. See there? See that? So that's that way you know when to stop screwing. And it does the same thing on the other side, it's just red. So pro tip, so you don't crack your acrylic. All right. All right, so what's next? We have to mount this power adapter, power strip to the base. Put this right on the wall. Just because this material is, this wall material is, is has a, a surface that the tape would adhere to just a little better. And I like to have it right at the base so that you can stick your finger through there and turn it off. But these, let me turn all these off. Now, all the pearls aren't normally this long. Just wanna make sure that they can all plug back in with no problem this on here. I want to have this right up to the edge. Right up to the edge. So you see I got two strips of our Velcro tape on here. If you get running low on tape because you use it for other things you can cut one of these and put one at both ends. It's still going to be fine. Put that on there, and that thing is not going to go anywhere. I'll clean up the uh, top as best as I can, and we'll just zoom in on that afterwards. Okay, so this is the final display. So we got cable management, wires come from the top and bind up, they come down to the uh, Video board goes out to the Pi. Everything's wrapped tight. Use one last piece of the uh, half strip to keep that heavier core bound up. Goes down one more time, binds up down there. Um, again, that's my plug for my light there on the, so that's not contained. I Velcro this in place. The tray that used to go under the control panel and I just put all the paperwork that comes 
that they receive, the customer receives, just keeps it in there. Um, so that doesn't slide around at all. And the last piece of the pie is, after it's all bundled up, ready to go, looking good, I put the board on, the back panel. Uh, I forgot to show this, but yeah, I just got this saw and just cut this little corner off about two inches by two and a half inches, two and a quarter by two, something like that. And I just cut that off for the, the power strip. So there you have it. All ready for the customer to pick up. All they need to do is take the sticker off the buttons. Got your sound up there. Sound, you got your keyboard, you got your charger, charging cable there. You got your back screwed on. You have your power, you can see the red light in there. You can just stick your finger in there and turn that on or off if you wish. The power is currently on. We can switch that off. And now shut that down. The screen will go off automatically. There's a sleep mode. And you can keep it just like that if you like and then just come in Turn it on whenever you want to, or you can flip the switch down inside to turn it all the way off. There's no lights, no indication that it's on until you need it to turn it on. When you're ready, just flip the switch back to on. It'll boot up. Get some volume on that. Coin buttons are front and center. Got all your controls. You got Cody on here, which is in the ports. You also have your jukebox if you want to play some music. The RetroPie jukebox. Inside is the map for all your buttons for playing the games as well as the buttons for controlling your fruit box jukebox. That's inside the cabinet. So where do we go from here? It's up to you. Game on. So it's up to you what you want to do next. Now that you have your your game modded, the fun's just begun. You can go as advanced as you want, as simple as you want, but you have tons of options. Do you want to put the trim on? There's so many colors. Do we really have to go in there and chase them?
so many choices to uh, choose from. Do you want to do marquees? To mod it next. You want to put a coin box on? Do you want to cover up your screw holes so you don't see those hideous looking screws there? You want to paint the back door black so it blends in better? Do you want to put hinges on the back so your back is not hanging off like that when you have to go into it? There's a lot of options. You want to put new graphics on the boards or on the riser. You want to customize your boot up so that it comes up quickly like you saw here with no uh, no extra letters and graphics and all kinds of crazy stuff going on when it boots up. Do you want to add Cody to it so you can have one game playing movies? You want to see how you get rid of all that boot up text? I don't have the sound on. Do you want to put the RK1 Up logo back on? You want a custom boot up screen? Do you want, when you load your games, for RK1 Up screen to pop up? Do you want a custom loading screen? There's no limits. Do you want to lock your thing down so people can't just uh, have all these choices of games to, to choose from? So do you want to So do you so instead of having all those games available it's 41 games. So 41 games is what's really on here. So when people come over, that's all they have access to. You want to limit your game selection so they're not spending so much time uh, picking a game and more time playing a game. Do you want to lock it down so that they can't go into your settings and and delete games and all those things so it's there's a lot of different things that you can do do you want to name your pi if you have two machine two or more machines they both by default is called a retro pi when you go to it from the your LAN or your wi-fi you want to call this one galaga and call this one street fighter do you want to make custom collections where you can categorize your games to make it easier for finding the different types of games that you want to play you know all these different things that you can do are going to be in this playlist so make sure you bookmark the playlist and uh, all these options are there for you to view to learn more and to get into this hobby of modifying and perfecting your box so my Galaga uh, once I paint this back I have the black paint here so once I paint the back of this thing um, this is virtually a full arcade coin box marquee you know it's beautiful once once this comes in April I have the double coin box over here he has his marquee paint the back of that so both of my machines would be Basically a full-fledged arcade machine, just miniature size, smaller size. So it's up to you. Choice is up to you what, where you want to go from here. Check with Detroit Love for all your growing mod needs. I'm going to be putting in a um, USB putting in a USB uh, adapter here so I can plug in joysticks here because that's the next step now that you got it modded um, i show you how to back up your machine once you get it perfected the way you want it so it doesn't get corrupt on you and you lose and have to do everything over again but we'll have this in here I also ordered trackball 
And this is just the uh, converter that's needed that won't come until next month, but I'm going to put a trackball in this space of this speaker. Or over here, I still haven't figured it out. Should it be on the left or the right? I'll have to figure that out. But um, so there's there's tons of options of what you can do. So keep Detroit Love in your in your playlists, and uh, let's keep this modding going. All right, guys. Until next time, I'll see you on the web. Game over. Arcade time is over.